Now, when it comes to modulating sounds within Omnisphere, so far we've looked at what I like to refer to as performance gestures, things like aftertouch using a mod wheel, that kind of thing, or a CC controller knob on a keyboard. There are things that you can control and do based on how you want to perform and how you want the modulation to work. The other kind we've looked at are LFOs, which are cyclical waveforms that modulate parameters based on the, how we set these cycles to behave. Now, another source of modulation are envelopes. And we looked at the filter envelope a couple of videos ago and how this affects the characteristics of the cutoff value over time. We also have the amp envelope that determines the volume or amplitude characteristics of a note over time. We're going to look at that in this video. But we also have four dedicated modulation envelopes. So in Omnisphere, we have an amp envelope and a filter envelope for each layer, and then four modulation envelopes that are global for the patch. And we can get to the four dedicated envelopes by clicking on these buttons over here. So put simply, envelopes are the contours that shape the sound coming from the oscillators when we're in this mode, coming from the filter in this mode, and based on whatever it's routed to in the modulation matrix when we're using these mod envelopes. Now, there are two modes that envelopes work in, ADSR and complex. Now, basic ADSR style envelope, and let's look at that in the amp envelope, and that's what we're going to focus on in this video, determines how quickly a sound begins, its initial decay, and what level it sustains at, and how long it'll fade out after the note is released. And these four elements of the envelope are referred to as stages. So in this ADSR, there's four stages, and in complex envelopes, we can contain contours with many more than four stages. And we get into the complex envelopes in the envelope zoom here, and we'll look at that in a separate video. But there are the two amp envelope and filter envelope, and then the separate modulation envelopes, which you can see by default have many more than four stages. But let's go back out for now. And we can see by this icon here whether the envelope we're working in is a simple one or a complex one. When it has these sliders, that's a simple envelope, and or what I like to call simple, meaning four stages. And the modulation envelopes are by default, or the fourth one anyway, by default is multiple stages. That one's simple. That one's multiple stage one, and so is that one. And we can always use this X button to convert a complex envelope back to a simple one. So let's look at what this does in amp envelope mode. Now I've got an initialized patch here. Let me turn the envelope depth down for the filter and put this on. Now the first control is the attack control. And this determines how long it takes for the sound to reach its maximum amplitude. So by bringing this up from the lowest level, it'll take a while for the sound to fade up to its maximum level. And that's nice for pads when you want to have a slow attack. And then the decay time determines how long it's going to take for it to drop down to the sustain level. So when this is all the way down, we're going to hear an abrupt drop in level. So it ramps up and then abruptly drops down versus a gradual decaying down. And then this sets what level it's going to sustain at once it decays down. And the release control determines what happens after you remove your finger from the note, how long it takes to recover and go down to being off, basically. And with this all the way down, as soon as I release my finger, it'll stop. Versus having a slower release time where it decays more naturally. Now we have a velocity knob, which controls how much MIDI velocity affects the output signal of the envelope. So moving the knob clockwise, it increases the dynamic sensitivity of the envelope, and moving it counterclockwise decreases it. So if I dial this up, I'll get more response based on how hard I hit the note. And here, it's just always full on. I'm not getting much of the envelope at all. Let's dial that up like that. And right away with this, this is nice for getting a nice pad type sound. Let's just copy this layer just to quickly create a simple patch. I'm going to go copy layer, and then I'll go to layer B and paste it in. Paste layer, and I'll just do a little bit of subtle fine detuning. We should hear a nice thick pad-like sound. I'm running out of voices, so let's go back to the main page and just bump this up for now. So that's the basic ADSR envelope. 
And when we're working with the mod envelopes, the velocity knob is replaced with a depth knob. Now the depth controls are dedicated to the four envelopes, so we can have a unique amount for each envelope. And turning the knob clockwise increases how much of this modulation envelope is going to be sent to the modulation matrix. And the default is to have it full on, but we can control the depth with that. Now, the way to think of these modulation envelopes are like multi-stage LFOs. These are cyclical shapes, kind of simple shapes. And here we can have much more complex shape that we can sort of create and sculpt ourselves. Now, I'm going to end off here, and we'll continue in the next video and look at the envelope zoom and the multi-stage envelopes.